evening everyone. We're going to start our ceremony. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Captain John Zatolo. I'm the officer in charge of the Southwood Police Department. I would like to welcome all of you to our second annual Saddlebrook Police Department Junior Police Academy. Thank you to everyone who's here tonight. And thank you for allowing us to have your young recruits with us for the week and participate in the Academy. At this time, Sergeant Little John will present the class. Okay. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Detective Peter Romero. I would first like to express what an honor and a privilege it is to be one of the main instructors in the Saddleback Police Department's second annual Junior Police Academy. I would like to thank Mayor White, the Township Council, and our officer in charge, Captain John Zatolo, for giving myself and my fellow officers the opportunity to be a part of such a phenomenal program for the kids in town. One of my favorite parts of the Junior Police Academy is something called the bottom line. In the real police academy, most of the officers in the room had to read the bottom line every morning for nearly, nearly six months straight. It teaches us all how to take accountability for our actions, have integrity, and how to be honest men and women of character. Throughout the Junior Police Academy, the recruits were asked to read the bottom line several times a day with hopes that these words will have a lifelong impact on all. At this time, I would like to introduce recruit Jace Ferguson to read the bottom line.
Now that you have a better understanding of what police officers do and the challenges that they face, please help us in building a safer community. Thank you to our police department. Thank you, Officer in Charge John Zatolo, and all the police officers who helped run this valuable program. Let's give them a round of applause. I want to thank all the local businesses that contributed to the program with donations and discounts. We appreciate their support. I want to recognize and thank all our council members we have with us tonight, Councilwoman Flo Mazur, Councilman Dave Garrett, Councilman Andrew Simaluka, and Councilwoman Sarah Sanchez. Also, um, Tony Violetti, uh, Superintendent of Schools, and I, I don't think she's here tonight, but she's a big supporter of this program, as, as is the Board of Education trustees. So graduates, whether you go into law enforcement or not, I know you have benefited in taking part in this Junior Police Academy. Enjoy the rest of your summer. You've earned it. Parents, I just want to let you know that please, if you're available, join us tomorrow at the town picnic. It's uh, from 12 noon to 4 p.m. at the Saddle River County Park uh, by the pavilion. Thank you.
God. He'll run, he'll sprint, he'll climb, he'll roll, he'll hop fences, he'll do whatever he has to do to get the best shots he possibly can for us. And we couldn't appreciate you more because you capture our event. Thank you so much for all you do for our academy and all you do for the township. Awesome. This week, our recruits experience many different aspects of law enforcement, and our instructors will go over that. They also learn some important life lessons, as the mayor mentioned, regarding discipline, respect, teamwork, integrity. I'm extremely proud of what they accomplished this week. Although they had fun, it was challenging. And I really believe they're leaving here today with a huge sense of accomplishment. And as the week went on, what was <clears throat> special to me, and it's, it's one of my goals, is our relationship with them evolved from the traditional law enforcement relationship to more of a mentor and a friend and a partner. And that means a lot to me, and that means a lot to our instructors and pretty much our entire police department. But that relationship does not end today. As graduates of our Junior Police Academy, you always be a special part of our law enforcement family. Job well done. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank Mayor White, Township Council, and Lieutenant Rivera for making the Junior Academy possible. I was one of the PT instructors for a week. Throughout the week, the recruits were tested in the four Police Training Commission PT tests using the actual standard to get into a real police academy in New Jersey. The test is a 1.5 mile run in 15 minutes and 55 seconds or less a 300 meter run in 70 seconds or less, 24 push-ups or more in 60 seconds, and 28 sit-ups or more in 60 seconds. One other fun thing we did throughout the week, on Thursday yesterday at Liberty State Park, we did a push-up hold competition. So in the real police academy, they don't follow instruction, or you don't do what you're supposed to do. A lot of times the instructors will make you go in the push-up position. So we had all the recruits, we did this two years in a row, to see who could hold the push-up position for the longest. I just wanted to recognize who won. We had a female and a male winner. Recruit Kaylee Donahue won the female competition, and recruit Jay Jones held the push-up position for nine minutes and 36 seconds, uh, winning the male event.
recruit who earned the male physical training award passed the one and a half mile run in 13 minutes 50 seconds, passed the 300 meter run with a junior academy record of 42 seconds, performed 30 push ups and 32 sit ups. Recruit Marcello Gross. Congratulations.
taking a moment to acknowledge our junior instructors. The junior instructors are new for this year. They consist of recruits from last year's class that were invited back to assist the instruction instructors. We were unsure how this program would go, but right from the start, these junior instructors stepped up into their new roles and really continually impressed the instructors throughout the week. It was nice to see that they remembered their experience from last year well enough to pick right up where they left off. We were thankful to have their help throughout this week and they have far surpassed our expectations. Their commitment to this program deserves special recognition. Junior instructors, on your feet. Junior instructor, Jocelyn Badia. Junior instructor, Brandon Ritchuli. Junior instructor, Brittany Francis. Junior instructor, Ashley Francis. Junior instructor, Adam Moani. And junior instructor, Harris Sikamatelis. Thank you, junior instructors. At this time, we will be presenting the graduation certificates to each individual recruit. Detective Timothy Parisi will be presenting to squad one. Good evening. CEO David Prestasia.
Recruit Melly Kabuku. Recruit Steven Morales. Recruit Jace Ferguson. Recruit Omar Awad. Recruit Dante Minervini. Squad two, Marcello Gross. He was so good, I want to say his name two times. Recruit Marcello Gross. <laughs> Recruit Alexander Kostoski. <laughs> Recruit Zion Jones. Recruit Patrick Kubis. Recruit Gabriela Herrera. Recruit Sean Keenan. Last but not least, recruit Jay Jones. Okay, Detective Guerra is going to be announcing squad three. Good afternoon, everyone. Recruit Daniel Montiol. <laughs> Recruit Adriel Pez Morel. Recruit Harrison Greco. <laughs> Recruit Matthew Nizial. Recruit Destiny Luciano. Recruit 
Peyton Littlejohn. Stephen Wardrick. Adam Youssef. Yes. <laughs> 